how did the future shit start? Like, do you know how that started? I've been trying to get answers on everything. Because Abel the, was like, he didn't sign. There was like some beef there. I knew that a long time ago. The easiest thing to say among everything is that there's this, just like women and girl things. Like, where it's like, you know, I keep asking people and they're like, yo, listen, man, Drake's a little sloppy with it. Where like, yo, know, all these guys, they share like the same crop of girls. But it's like, it's a thin line between like, yo, know, these are like the community chicks that we all bang. And yo, know, you're doing certain shit to kind of like disrespect. But yeah, and everyone on the internet's like, oh, why are they arguing over chicks? But like, yeah. if I was like actually with a chick and like, if I like hook up with her once, that's different. But if I'm with a chick and like you or Steiny yeah. try to slide on her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's fucked up. Yeah. So it depends. I mean, if the I weekend was with the chick. Well, it, it, then, well, well, the weekend, definitely that's a part of it. The weekend, I think it's a whole bigger thing, right? Yeah, that's different. But like, I think even with like futures, like, Imagine just having a, maybe there's some someone in your crew where like just repeatedly you've told that person just like, yo, yo, all these like fair game. But if you see me like pop out with her or like I bring her to the show with me, chill. Like you should be DMing her yeah. like after I'm done with her or like we're fighting, you shouldn't be on her likes. No hard emojis, my dude. Like and, and, and you've seen the same person <laughs> do it like four times. And after a while, you're like, yo, this is. <laughs> you know like I mean? from the outside for us, it's funny that Drake does that. But if you're in the position, it's kind of like, yo, what are you doing, bro? Like, why, yeah, yeah, yeah. why are you trying well, to slide on my chick? It's funny because we all do it, but it's like all of a sudden because it's Drake, you're like, why you know about it? You do that, bro. but Brad, you bro, wouldn't we, do that. Like, if you if you saw me with a girl, that's what I'm, I'm you saying. You wouldn't. Not we all do it as we all do that to our boys. I'm saying yeah. like we all feel the same way. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah. that we don't want it to happen. Like you'd cut. We'd yeah, cut like some if I saw fast. if I saw you like yeah with your you know girl and I was like trying to slide on, I'd be like, yo, what? That'd like be, my, my yeah. girl, girl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That sounds f***ed up to say. <laughs> Yo, and it's actually... It's pretty obvious, right? Yeah, well, I'm wondering if that's a part of it. Like, why would Drake do that? I, and I'm wondering if it's like... You know, someone told me the best thing about rappers. You know, I, 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 first of all, I, I've said... And I said on your pod. Yeah. Like, rappers, they're like sometimes the most selfish guys possible. Like, they live like in such a different universe. Yeah. But among rappers who claim they're friends, half of them really aren't friends... But it's it's always a subtle thing to have a flex or an advantage, right? And everybody has the newest car, whatever, whatever the newest car is. Like everybody's posting up their, you know what I mean, cyber truck. Mm -hmm. They all get the same cars. They all get the same jewelry. It's like a lot of, hey, as a rapper, we all check these boxes. We all have the same things. One of the only things that become the deciding and differentiating factor is like, who are the girls that, no one could get but us. Mm. But it's the girl that everybody wants. Like, for example, Lori Harvey was one of those girls, like, not too long ago. Mm -hmm. And Meek is rapping. It's like, mm -hmm. yo, I want her for Christmas, right? And then <laughs> Future just like, yo, Christmas, she's mine now. You know what I mean? So it, on, like, a crazy level, they compete that way. But I'm still thinking, mm. if I'm making, like, for example, say Future and Drake. If I'm making tens yeah. of millions of dollars with you, they have two Diamond songs. They've done an album together. They've done tours together, right? I just don't know if it could be a situation where even if I know you're that type of a guy, I probably just wouldn't, okay, like, I'm just going to keep my, my woman away from you or just not be in a situation that could be a thing, but I'm not. You know what I saw with Future, though, and that guy, uh, What's the Dirt, on YouTube? Yeah, yeah. I watched, his, like, a bunch of his videos. Oh, he's dope. He's dope. He's from Canada, too, but... um. Future has been going at Drake for like almost 10 years, Loki. If you watch that video, like he took a shot at him in like a Vogue magazine or something like that, double XL. Like he said, Drake was fake and then he like retracted it. So yeah, it's yeah. like, it's actually, he's been like taking kind of like shots at him for a while, which is weird. It's interesting what Future said about Drake, right? Like, like Future basically called Drake a fan. He said, You're my number one fan. And Drake came out and said, I'm not your number one fan. Their relationship was always interesting and a bit weird, but it made a lot of financial sense, right? So back when you're talking about in Vogue that got retracted was... You seen that? Yeah, yeah. Um, when Future just came on the scene, right? Future dropped a song called Racks on Racks. He was the hook. He wrote the song. Oh, yeah. But there was another rapper named YC who was his song. When Future started saying, hey, I'm the, like, the creativity and the brains behind the song, this dude was just like, yo, get your bum ass one out of here, go make your own. Like, this is my song. Yeah, you're the hook, but it's mine. 
So basically, he couldn't get to claim the song he was really responsible for, even though it was a hit, because the other guy was just saying, it's my song, and you know it's my song, mm-hmm. right? Future <laughs> takes that and says, um, okay, you know, most artists, they only have one, they can only make one song in their lifetime. Future's an enigma. He has hits, he probably sleeps and makes hits, right? He comes back with a song called Tony Montana. He gets the song Tony Montana, the shit is going crazy. Him, his dude, um, Esco, they're working it in strip clubs. That's always been his thing. Let's get the hot song working it on the strip clubs. Once you get the chicks with the BBLs, like dancing to your shit, it's gonna go. It's working in Atlanta. It's popping so much, Drake at that time jumps on the song. Yeah. Drake jumps on the song. Yeah, I remember Future, that. like, this is unsolicited. It's not like Future's calling his phone, like, yo, get on the song. He just jumps on the song. Drake's <sighs> version of the song is popular now, too. But keep in mind, the song's already popular. Right. Future's trying to make this make sense. He's like, all right, cool, let's do a video. All right, whatever, whatever. Drake skips out on doing a video to go to someone's show, like some chick, like he was about to go check. You know what I mean? Future's a little cheese, like, yo, bro, like, why would you jump on a song that I'm trying to kickstart my career with, but not actually give a enough to be there for the look of the song when I'm trying to do the video? How do you know these details? So It's been well known. Okay. It's been well known. So at that time... It was like a little bit of a... Future said it in interviews. Yeah, he, he said oh, that. He's actually said yeah, that. He, he said that early on. And what happened is that rather than them actually beef, we didn't hear much about it. Drake didn't say anything. He didn't respond to it. And then two interesting things happens. Future keeps making hits. He's writing for even down to Beyonce. He's working with Rihanna. Like, Future now is like the hit maker. He goes on this crazy run. And where everybody just calls it like the trilogy of him dropping 56 Nights, Beast Mode, and Monster, which is three crazy mixtapes. Then he drops Dirty Sprite, the album. Yeah. Right at that moment, Drake is in a beef with Meek Mill, a guy who he <clears throat> collaborated with. And that guy was seen to be like a street guy, right? Now, the interesting part of that is that people feel like Drake is always like he has a bunch of boxes to check. Yo, and I need, yo, I kind of need the streets a little bit. So you lean on this guy who's kind of street. Him and Meek fall out. And even though he beats Meek in the battle, coming out of that, him and Future get super close. Why? They kind of probably need each other. Like, Future is the hottest now in the genre, but he's not pop. Like, he's not a pop type of yeah. guy. Drake, hottest, but kind of need that street credibility because he just wanted a street guy. And the guy basically was saying, you're soft. And people are kind of believing it, but he doesn't seem like he has that street element at all. They link up. They do a collab album. Drake is in Atlanta all the time. Like, he's looking like, yo, he's with the street guys now. Right? What well, a Time to Be Alive is going amazing, going crazy. They go Fire an album, too. Yeah, insane. And what a Time to Be Alive yeah. is insane. Then what happens, something happens right after that. Subsequently, they do work together again. They work together on... Um, Life is good, and they work together on Wait For You. But Future is asked about the album he did with Drake. And there wasn't there talks about What A Time To Be Alive too. Yeah, that too. With Drake, uh, um, Future stops really even talking about it, kind of almost signaling that maybe the relationship isn't the same on the background. But then we hear rumors that they were going to do another album, and that never came out. What A Time To Be Alive too. rumors of that happening, then shortly after. Well, I mean, shortly after, like, four weeks after that rumor came out, an announcement that he's doing an album with Savage. That then comes out as like, <clears throat> wait, back in 2015, 2016, when you needed the street guy, you came, you came to Atlanta and you'd work with me. But now, I in 2022, you're now working with another guy from Atlanta. <laughs> 